Face to the screen again, slaves. Here is, by request, a necklace that I made many years ago. Uh, this one may have been 12 to even plus years ago. And it's a Byzantine pattern. It's stainless steel. You have the the rings that lay flat against one another right by my finger there. Those are, I believe, 530 seconds rings on the inside diameter. It's been a long time since I made this, pat this uh, particular necklace. And then the ones that cross each other are the smaller rings that are actually 1 8th inside diameter. So you have 1 8th and 530 seconds inside diameters. And you can see the way it almost works like the universal joint. You know, they're really flexible. You can just roll it up in a ball. It's pretty cool. And it's just, it's it's chain mail. It is technically chain mail. It's a, it's like a four on one pattern. I have other pieces that are, uh, there's one that's like, Instead of having the two rings lay flat, it's almost like three-sided, so it's like a triangle, and it's called Turkish round mail. This is Byzantine, and that would be Turkish round mail. I'm not sure how the nomenclature came to be. Um, if it was something that Byzantines and Turkish people actually made a long time ago, I'm not sure. Uh, there is the Persian pattern. I have a bracelet laying around, and I have other stuff laying around that's a, a Persian pattern, and I do believe it actually is something the Persians made. Um, this is the ring I had in the other video. So, the necklace, stainless steel, the ring, sterling silver. You can really see the difference. You know, the sterling silver is pretty polished up right now, so it's pretty white looking. Uh, to my eye, it actually looks pretty white. And here on camera, it looks a little bit yellow. But I think it still looks pretty good on camera, too. If it would focus... Yeah, see, when I bring it up closer, the light filter changes and it turns white. And then you move it down here, and it compensates for the background of the black and the gray. So let's bring this up close to the camera and see what it looks like right next to the ring. Let's give it a fair appraisal. So you can see the stainless steel is a lot darker. I per I, I like them both. You know, I never used to want to make stain uh, sterling silver because I thought it would tarnish to the point that something like this would be such a pain in the butt to try to clean. But now I see that, I mean, the best thing you can do is wear it. But second of all, it's really not that bad. And, uh, I mean, I still like stainless steel. I'd recommend it, too. Good stuff. So, thanks for facing to the screen, and I'll see you again later.